If you want to win at work, you need to spend most of your time cultivating and refining your strengths and then a limited amount of time trying to manage around your weaknesses. The least successful people at work take their strengths for granted and focus on fixing themselves. Don't do that, unless you want to be average. One of the things you'll be told at work is that your strengths are what you're good at and your weaknesses are what you're bad at. So if your strengths are what you're good at, your weaknesses are what you're bad at, you are the least qualified person to identify your strengths and weaknesses because you're too close to them. But that's not the right definition of strength or weakness. Because don't you have some things that you're really good at that you hate? Some things that because you're driven or because you're responsible or something, you can do them. You can do them really well, except they drag you down and bore you and drain you. What do we call that? What do we call something where you're really good at it, but you hate it? Let's call that a weakness. Let's redefine strength and weakness. A weakness is an activity that weakens you. Before you do it, you try to procrastinate it. While you're doing it, time just drags on. When you're done with it, you're like, so what's the strength? A strength is an activity that strengthens you. Before you do it, you just find yourself leaning into it. While you're doing it, you're in what's called flow. Time just speeds up. And when you're done with it, you might not be ready to do it again, but you're like, there are some activities that for whatever reason, it's not race, gender, age, it's just the uniqueness of how your brains work. There are some activities that fill you up. So if we define a strength as an activity that strengthens you and a weakness as an activity that weakens you, you are the best judge of both. When you go to work, one of the things you're gonna to be told a lot is that you should seek out negative feedback. That if you really wanna grow, if you really wanna have a growth mindset with your career, you should seek out people that tell you the truth about you and that you should take their candid feedback in and somehow work it so that you can become ever more perfect. The truth is you don't want that. Don't seek out critical or negative feedback ever. First of all, when you do, we know from brain science, your brain goes into what's called flight or fight. Your sympathetic nervous system lights up and your brain basically kind of shuts down as it tries to survive. Negative feedback inhibits your learning and creates impairment, so don't seek it out. Instead, what you should seek out is positive coaching attention. What that sounds like is you work for someone and you do something that works, you should ask that person, don't just praise me, tell me when I did something that worked, what worked about it? What was it that made you lean in? What was it that made you go, huh, you want somebody to help you see it and pull it apart a wee bit so that you can take what's unconscious and make it conscious so that you can actually recreate it, refine it and do it again. One of the things you've got to remember is that no one's got a brain that's wired quite the way that yours is. Because of the clash of your chromosomes, because of your early childhood experiences, your brain is wired totally uniquely. That means you have unique strengths and unique weaknesses. You have sort of thickets of synaptic connections with a ton of them, and then you have some barren mental wastelands. What people will tell you at work is the best way to grow is to take your strengths for granted and then fix these. That's not true. If you want to grow, you'll figure out where you have some natural advantages, some natural strengths, and you will cultivate those. Your strengths are your areas for improvement. We actually know how your brain grows. Your brain grows more synaptic connections where you have the most pre-existing synaptic connections. Brain scientists say that learning, your learning, is like new buds on an existing branch. It's not new branches. So if you want to learn and grow, you won't ask the people around you to pat you on the head for your strengths. You'll say to them and to yourself, how can I take what I do naturally well, that naturally fulfills me, and turn it into contribution? What about this stuff? Well, your weaknesses, I I'm not suggesting you ignore them. This isn't just the power of positive thinking. There's some stuff that you've got to fix. We need to give you a machete and sort of cut a little path, a mental path through this wasteland. Get a little better at some things. But when you do that, don't imagine that you will ever get to excellence. Excellence is never fixing weaknesses. Best case scenario for you, best case. With your weaknesses, you go from really bad to bad, or maybe bad to zero. But if you wanna win, if you wanna excel, if you wanna stand out, you're gonna have to take the few unique things about you that are beautiful and powerful and take them seriously and then turn them into contribution. That is all about your strengths and how you refine them and how you share them with the rest of us.